is, is the separation of power. And the judiciary must not be cowed into accepting an illegitimate process. So the judiciary may embarrass itself. The government has already embarrassed itself by what it's doing here. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Tansa. We'll be joining you soon to get more updates on what is happening. Viewers will be coming back very soon, but we're just now moving around to show you images on how tense the situation is. Thank you so much for joining me. And, and they're also, sorry, they're also all over. In Blawayo, they are condoning our office. In Mutare, they are condoning our office. In Chinoy, they are condoning our office. In Gweru, they are condoning our office. We wonder where the government is getting money to buy all these regalia and to also make police, uh, policemen and police women roam around. Okay, sure. thank you so much for the edition. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Uh, President, maybe you can uh, give, we are live on newsimbabwe.com, maybe you can uh, give our viewers uh, a summary of what is happening, what has happened so far in the morning. When they came, what did they say? And uh, what is the action you are going to take? They are just condoning off our office. This is a private building. We are at our offices. We are telling them that we want to exercise our constitutional right. They've been here since morning around 5 a.m. They are all over, wherever the ZCT offices. They are in, in Blawayo, they are in Mashingo, they are in Mutare, they are in Gweru, they are in Chinoy. They are condoning. They don't want us to get out of this building. Why they are doing the, uh, such an illegal act, we don't know. So they've been threatening violence. We are asking them, why are you bringing guns here? They are holding guns. Holding guns on men and women who are not armed. We are harmless. We are just workers demanding that we should get economic justice. We are just workers demanding that we must get social justice. So they are condoning off. As you can see, they are now condoning off. He's holding a gun. They are holding guns. They are holding tear gas, canisters. They are holding button sticks. But what have you done? We are just citizens. And this is worse. In fact, we have never had such a police condoning off our building like this. This is now even worse than the Robert Mugabe era. They are bringing all those vehicles. Look at that. What have we done? What have we done?
Okay, uh, viewers, this is newsimbabwe.com. We are still at the ZCTU headquarters. The police have stormed into the headquarters and they are beating up people in the stairs, in their offices. Uh, they've also brought a uh, backup, as you can see in the streets there. That's along Jason Moyo. Uh, the CTU president, Peter Mtasa, has been taken. He was assaulted uh, live on uh, various cameras and also we managed to capture that. If you can go back a few seconds, you maybe you might uh, see how they beat him up. They've also arrested him. Uh, in fact, I cannot say arrested, they've taken him. He's in uh, the police truck, which is on your screens right now. The situation is so tense now in Harare. We have had to flee into one of the offices. We don't even know which are uh, and whose office this is. Journalist. Uh, uh, some journalists being harassed there at the corner there. They are being told to get out of the way. The police say they do not want anything they, they do on camera today. We do not know what they uh, they want to do. They have guns, they have button sticks, and uh, some some uh, tear gas canisters. Okay, uh, for the safety of others, I've been asked to stop uh, recording. So this is the situation in uh, Harare. Yeah, these guys are so dead. <laughs> Have a guy. The message is good. So they are now leaving. We don't know where they are going. Okay. <laughs> Was <laughs> 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 This 
كذب اجابه جيت وعم People were, were indeed beaten up uh, along the stairs inside the Z City U headquarters. And uh, as you can see, people are still inside. People are still inside. They are, uh, they, uh, we have locked ourselves inside, and uh, this, there seems to be some tactical maneuver by the police, as you can see. Uh, some of the police uh, officers have moved to the rear end, and maybe it seems like they want to take everyone out from inside uh, the building. We were not yet sure. The CTU president, uh, Peter Mtasa, was uh, taken also. He was beaten up uh, while he's uh, trying to communicate with uh, the, the officer who took him, that uh, they had every right to be demonstrating. Their case is, is going to be, to be heard at... Uh, their, their case is going to be heard at uh, the high court at uh, half past 11, and I just said that uh, his spectacles were crushed too. So this is the situation in Harare. Uh, Mr. Peter Mtaza says um, it's the situation across the country in the, at, at the Abulawi offices, Mashingo, Mutare, and uh, other offices across the country. The police have uh, put on their, their premises. No one is supposed to leave. And uh, we are still to still 10, which means there's about one and a half hours till the court case. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we will be cutting the live feed now. Thank you for watching newsbubble.com. Uh, my name is uh, Leopold Mulende. We'll be giving you more updates as the day goes by. Thank you so much.